One of the fantastic things about Marina Del Rey is all the different yacht clubs that give kids a very good opportunity to start learning how to sail and operate boats. That is basically where I started when I was a youngster at about the age of six. Being in this area really takes me back. I just love being on the water. Today we're gonna do a walkthrough and a sea trial on the Azimut 60. She's a 2016. Boat's in fantastic condition, has twin man, 800 horsepower engines. One of the things I really like about the Azimut is the unmistakable lines. The boat absolutely looks epic going through the water. As we're on our way out of the marina here, it brings me back and reminds me of the amount of time that I've spent on the water, which includes about six trips to Hawaii, racing the Transpac. Also sailing from LA to Tahiti it was 11 days to get to Tahiti, which is the record for crossing the Pacific. One of the great things about this vessel is it's equipped with the Sea Keeper. The boat behaves really nicely with the Sea Keeper on board. Being that the flybridge is an integral part of the Azimut 60 design features, I thought we'd start our walk through here. Aft on the flybridge area is this L-shaped seating that's a great place to catch some sun. Just forward of the L-shaped seating is the dinette. This space is perfect for dining in the shade. Just to port is a grilling station that has a sink, refrigerator, and ice maker. Forward on the port side of the flybridge is the upper helm with a full array of Raymarine electronics and an excellent view for operating the vessel. We'll break down the navigation when we go to the lower helm. From here, let's jump down to the main deck and start on the aft swim platform. Another great feature on the Azimut 60 is the access to the cruise quarters on the hydraulic swim platform. Two steps up from the swim platform is the centerline dinette with seating for four. With the perfect California weather, this is where you will be spending quality time with friends. Not only is there easy access from the dock, but this is one of the best spots underway. Underfoot is the teak deck sole and access to the engine room. The engine room has an amazing amount of space for a yacht of this size. In here are a pair of R6 man engines with an upgraded 23 kilowatt Kohler generator. In all, this Azimut 60 has a combined horsepower of 1600. According to the Azimut spec sheet, she has a cruising speed of 28 knots and tops out somewhere around 32 knots. When she's up on plane on a calm day, her forward sun pad on the bow is the most exhilarating place to be. The high surrounding stainless pulpit makes for a safe environment out on the water. Forward of the sun pad is the ground tackle with convenient foot switches. From here, let's check out the interior, starting with the salon. Making this a wonderful theater area, we have a Bose surround sound system. Next, let's take a look at the raised galley and the dinette, which is on the starboard side. The table at her U-shaped dinette slides away from the seating, making it easy to get in and out. Opposing the dinette is her galley with a ton of counter space. The cooking appliances in the galley consist of a three burner Miele cooktop as well as a convection microwave oven. For refrigeration, there are two under counter units. The forward having an ice maker. Forward of the galley is a combination washer dryer. 
Our next stop is the main helm, which is centerline. The lower helm offers great visibility, just like the upper helm, and also features a full array of Raymarine electronics. The heart of the lower helm are these twin multifunction displays. As you can see, this Raymarine display serves as chart plotter, radar, and aft camera to make docking a breeze. In between our Raymarine displays are Bonning engine monitors. On the port side of the helm, we have a Raymarine data display, searchlight, trim tabs, chain counter, Seakeeper gyro control, and autopilot. On the starboard side, we have the throttle controls and the Zenta joystick. Next, let's head below deck on the port side and check out her full beam master. In here, we find a Marine Queen berth and seating on the starboard side. The master also features an ensuite with a shower stall. Next, on the starboard side, is the guest suite with twin berths. Directly across the companionway is the guest head. This shares access with the VIP, which is the forward stateroom. So we're on our way in from the sea trial and boat performed magnificently, cruising top speed at about 29 and a half knots. She ran smooth and flawlessly. On behalf of the Denison Yachting Team and myself, Eric Mayle, thank you so much for joining me on today's walkthrough. If you'd like more information or to see her in person, I'd love to show her to you.